welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to build install and run the go programs uh, in windows operating system so here uh, i have already installed go 1.20 uh, in my windows machine so now i am going to show you how to build and run the source code of the go lang okay first of what i am going to do i am going to create one directory so i am creating one directory called go examples2 okay now next step what i am going to do i am going to copy one source code file okay let it be oracle12c.go so i am going to copy this oracle12c.go to newly created directory okay so let me open the content of file once again so this go program contains one main function and contains the logic how to connect to the oracle database 12c running in this local machine and select the person table okay so this is the logic containing in this oracle 12c.go uh, so it contains one main function remember that it contains one main function okay now next step what i am doing i am going to uh, examples to directory examples to directory so here what i am going to do i am going to create one module so go mod init oracle 12c so i am going to create one go.mod file using this command go mod init oracle 12c so it will create mod module file go.mod so let me open the content of the mod file module oracle 12c okay next i am going to download the modules uh, needed by oracle 12c.go so these are the modules needed by oracle 12c.go so let me open the go.mod once again you can see these modules are added here okay okay now these modules are you can see uh, in the directory c user samnadan go okay so here only the modules are getting downloaded okay third party modules are getting i'll be uh, getting downloaded here okay next what i am going to do i am going to build the binary so i am going to build a binary for this program so just executed the command go build that's it what will happen it will create the one file called oracle12c.exe so oracle12c.exe that oracle12c.exe name uh, is taken from module name okay so usually exe uh, will be taken from exe name will be taken from module name so now you can see i have executed oracle12c.exe you can see that uh, records are getting fetched okay so i can able to run the oracle12c.exe program okay next step what i am going to do i am going to uh, customize this uh, binary name so binary that is exe file name right instead of generating uh, in the name of module name i am going to give my own name for the exe file so this is the command go build iphone o oracle uh, db.exe okay let it be like that so it will uh, build the binary as oracle db.exe okay let me open the folder you can see that oracle db.exe is got created let me run that yes i can able to run the exe file okay what is the next step so i am going to show you one thing go env go path so this is means this is a go path uh, for another is go in go root so go root means where all the go binaries are get installed okay that is uh, go programming language itself installed in go root and go uh, programs are installed in go path okay now what i am going to do i am going to install this oracle db.exe so go install command okay so what it will do this will copy the exe file to bin directory in go path 
bin directory of the gopath see here oracle told c that dxc is copied so here oracle told c the um, uh, exe is created in the name of the module name itself okay let me run this uh, oracle told c.exe by opening new window so i am simply type the command oracle told c.exe that's it because already uh, go path uh, is available in the windows path so that i can able to run the exe file so oracle told say uh, dot exe will be installed in bin directory of the go path okay go path is uh, will be located in users username slash go directory okay so this is how uh, we build install and run the go programs in windows